Greetings everyone and welcome here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So we're here with our Wednesday night favorites and as I promised we're going to do some bashing. <laughs> I don't get to bash much so when I do I kind of enjoy it a bit. So last week we did the episode which was bands that I detest or bands I never liked and I grew to fall in love with them or I grew to love them. This week we're doing the opposite. These were bands that I liked a lot or I loved in some cases that I now cannot stand or have no interest in. So there's five of them. I could have added a few others. Took one band out because I realized when I had them on the list I thought about it for a while. I actually don't have a problem with the band is that their notoriety has gained them more fame than I think is warranted and that's not their fault so I'm not going to trash them for that. Um, so the first band, so basically we're doing, I picked five bands that at one time I liked or I liked some aspect of them or I loved in some case but uh, I no longer like or in some cases actually hate these bands so hate is a strong word though because in order to hate something you have to really really be have some kind of investment in it and to be honest with you I don't really have an investment in any of these bands so I can't really say I hate any of them because that would require me to actually think about them which I don't so anyways let just wanted to make that clear I don't operate that way so what I have here basically is five bands that I liked a lot and now I don't like them that much. So here we go. The first one, first one actually I switched because I realized I didn't have the first one. I didn't have a disc. I, I To be honest with you, I have a disc of all five of these bands, which is surprising. But I I said to myself, you know what, I like this, other, this one just, I dislike this one just as much and I actually have a CD by them, so I'm going to use it. So we're talking about Grunge's Nirvana. Yeah, I didn't. Pearl Jam was the other one. I don't like either of them. Uh, their music is boring to say the least. At one time, I did like some stuff from uh, Nirvana. Maybe I can actually find the song or two that I liked at one point. Um, I guess I did mind Smells Like Teen Spirit. I guess that was okay. But that's about it. I just generally don't like this band. I think their vocalist is, they've made a big issue out of nothing, so to speak. I'm sorry, I don't like to speak ill of the dead, but I don't think he definitely wasn't what people have made him out to be, the, one of the great rock stars of history. I don't, I don't think he qualifies. So if you're a Nirvana fan, you can hate me if you want, but I'm not gonna change my mind. I think the guy was, well, I'm not going to say anything about them, but I just don't care for this band. I don't think their music's that great, and I certainly don't think he was that special, not to the level that they, people have made him out to be. I do like Dave Grohl, though, so I will give you that. And I do like Teen Spirit. That's about it. Maybe I could find another one if I'd listened to it and found out which one it was, but, you know, any any band that has a song called Rape Me sorry not on my list so they're number five number five of bands I don't really care for so number four this is a band that I actually didn't mind I, I liked I had some of their early stuff and my friend John was into them and he liked them a lot and I didn't mind them I thought their uh, third album was great even though it had begun it was already beginning to fall apart for them but this this album is actually is absolutely one of the worst albums I've ever listened to, and I I have not grown any to like any other stuff that this band did from here on out, and that's Def Leppard. Don't like them, and I always find it funny when they say these were part of the uh, British. Uh, new wave of heavy metal. Are you kidding me? That's a joke. 
They're not even in the same class as Iron Maiden. They don't even deserve to be mentioned in the same breath. Okay, the next band up, I, I have to say I did like them quite a bit. And I do like some of their songs quite a bit still. But I think my issue with this band isn't so much about their music, which I don't have an issue with. It's that they love themselves and some of these disc jockeys love this band so much they, they have the audacity to say they're the greatest rock band in history. Are you kidding me? These guys are not even good musicians, really. They're just a bunch of guys who put out a couple of catchy songs and, uh, and you know, all their albums are the same. This one I picked because I happen to like the one song quite a bit. Talking about U2. I have about six U2 albums. So I'm quite familiar with them. At one point I liked them quite a bit when I was younger. But I grew to get tired of them. When they, especially every time I would turn the radio on and say, Oh, now we're going to play some tunes from the greatest rock band in history. And then they play U2. And I said, what are you talking about? There's at least a hundred bands better than them. So, yeah. That's probably my big issue with them. Not so much their music. I do listen to their music on occasion, but not too much of an occasion. Okay, the next two bands I probably detest quite a bit. The one band I did like this album when it first came out, and I thought they're going to be another Kiss. Another Kiss band, but they have no talent. They're basically just a bunch of whiners, and they can't even keep their own promise they're supposed to retire they sell millions of albums get people to buy up all the tickets thinking this is it for their final tour and then they say well we're gonna do another one because we made so much money that time we got to make twice as much this time so we're talking about motley crew of course this is a detestable band all they do is fight amongst each other they're just terrible like they can't even get along with each other and the only time they even talk to each other really is to make money. Yeah, detestable band. Don't have any use for them. And the number one band, I, I could almost, I'm on the borderline of saying I hate these guys. Um, apparently they had five members at one point too. And I did not know that. And I did like this album a lot. Like, I really liked this album a lot. And I played it a lot. And I liked these people a lot. And everything. And then, I don't know when it went south. Probably a couple of decades ago now. But now I can't stand the sight of them. And we're talking about Guns N' Roses. Is there any more detestable a band in rock history than this band? There, to me, I can't even tell you the members' names anymore. You know, I, I get the Motley Crue's names and their names mixed up all the time. I can't remember. To me, it's just... Just basically, they had one good album, which is this one. And it's not even that great. But I'm so sick of these songs, Paradise City and... Uh, Sweet Child of Mine and... I never want to... You're crazy. I, I don't want to hear any of these songs ever again. Or see this band ever again. The guitar player is pretty good. I will give him that. I gave something to Nirvana, so I will give something to uh, Guns N' Roses. I do like um, I do like the guitar player. I think he's quite talented, but this is just too much, man. They're too much. Living on living on living on a couple of albums and just milking the cow as much as they can and fighting with each other and the same stuff as Motley Crue I, I can't even tell you the difference they could be Motley Guns and, or Rose Rose Crew. I don't care it doesn't matter to me so those are the five bands that I cannot stand or I don't like I'll just reiterate them from top to bottom just in case I didn't get enough of Venom in there so Guns and Roses detestable Motley Crue detestable you two, they're kind of like that other band that I pulled out and didn't put in here. They're getting a lot of flack. They get a lot of support for stuff they don't deserve. This band, though, like themselves as well as got the support. So I don't hate them or anything like that, but I just don't care for them anymore. Def Leppard, anybody puts this trash out and calls himself a heavy metal band, 
They deserve to be on that list. And Nirvana, of course, overrated, overrated, uh, over talked about. Are they in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? If they are, they should. You know, it, it would it wouldn't surprise me. Let's put it that way. They could be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and Jethro Tull isn't. Does that make any sense to anybody? No, not at all. I don't even know if they're in. I don't care. But anyways, there you have it. Those are the five bands that I once liked, but I no longer care for. And that's what I'm sticking to. So if you got anything to say about any of them, please put your comments below. Who are the bands that you absolutely get under your claw that you once really liked? You know, put those in the list of those. There might be some in there that I don't like either. I just completely forgot about which is easy to do when you don't like something after a while you just forget about them right I had to really think about five bands that I don't like I'm sure there's others I can't detest either but I just don't think about them anymore anyways um, please like and subscribe it's much appreciated I did make this video on my new um, my new my new computer system I'm just curious to see if uh, it's as good as the one that I've been making them on the last few weeks anyways I'm just testing it out. So I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe, and we will be back next when uh sorry. Yeah, next Wednesday for Wednesday night favorites. I'm thinking it's getting time to do my top fifteen Australian bands. Uh Ben has literally polluted my email with albums from bands that he thinks I should listen to. There's about 30 of them in there. <laughs> I went there one day and there was two and now there's like 30. So this guy has done his due diligence for sure. I told him, that he'd asked me why I hadn't been making my Australian one. I'd done the Canadian one and the American one and the British one and even the European one and I still haven't got to the Australian. Well, I wanted to give the Australian one its due diligence. I do like the bands from Australia. I just don't have enough of them to make it and I didn't want to put bands on the list who I didn't like just to fill out a list so he's giving me a 30 of them I'm sure I can pull a few off of there to put on my list probably will probably then my list might be 25 who knows but anyways that's likely my my what I'm going to do for next week's favorites is my top 15 Australian bands so have yourself a good night and we will see you next Wednesday. Take care.